Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your December mid-month tarot reading. This is for the sign of Cancer. Now generally my readings turn out to be love readings. We will see what comes up. Now this may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. This is for hundreds and thousands of people, a general audience. So just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so when I feel like it's time to stop, I will stop. I will focus the camera in as soon as I have the cards laid out, and when you take a look at this, <laughs> it represents the sign of cancer. Apparently, it was absolutely the right time to stop shuffling. Amazing. Amazing. quite particular as to where my cards sit as you can see I don't know why but I like it to be right <laughs> I don't know what you'd call that but anyway obsessive compulsive I don't know I, don't know. <laughs> I let it get messier as it goes anyhow um, let's see what we got here as I mess with the cards, they get messier and I let it be. But when they first come out, I like them to look good. Okay. So anyway, it, it appears to me that it's time for you guys to move on. You got to move on from something. You could be considering some travel at the end of this month. Or, you know, you're just considering moving forward, period. It's time to move forward. Okay, that's the first card that came out. Also represents you, you know, the sign of cancer. I, many of you are heading in the right direction. Towards love, perhaps? I mean, we got that page of cups right underneath it. Maybe there's a, a resurgence in a relationship. Maybe the love is coming back or... You know, new love is coming in, something. Maybe you have a choice between two people. That could certainly be the case. I, ha I see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I also see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe you have a choice between three people. Maybe you're getting messages from all kinds of different directions, okay? Um, and you just don't know what to do. That could certainly be the case. Um, I do have Taurus pretty prominently here, so I just want to throw that out there. Um, it appears that you've, you're dealing with some drama at this point in your life. you got some drama going on somewhere, and you may be considering moving or changing up your home, maybe kicking somebody out, or, or uh, somebody might be moving in, but I do, or you could be moving physically, because I do see some kind of change in your home. Okay, I also see a wake-up call here. Somebody's uh, waking up. They've had some kind of epiphany that changes everything. You know, I'm ready for this change. I need stability. I need security. And I haven't been getting it. So it's time for me to bring that back to my life. There may be, you may be deciding to let go of something that's very heavy. You've been holding on to, just wishing for it, that it would work out. But the fact of the matter is, it isn't working out. You've put in, put in a lot of effort, and it's not working out. And all it's doing is blocking you from the one. Okay? It's blocking you from from whatever you need okay from you following your own path really it is I see a blockage here because you know you've put a lot of effort into something a lot of energy you've carried it you've carried it you know and it just now you've come to this point where I can't carry this shit anymore I have to drop it I have to let it go you know I'm gonna speak my truth I'll, it's like if this may come overnight you know at night time and you're in bed you think you know what I can't do this shit I'm done with it you know, and there could be a break, you know, a break in a, even some kind of commitment, okay? This can be with a job or it can be with a partner, but it looks like there's a, there could be a cut, you know, cutting somebody out of a commitment, you know, because it's not leading to wish fulfillment. It feels like they have been weighing you down, you know, they're blocking you from happiness. That's what's going on here. Um, and you're ready to broaden your horizons and it's time for you to honor yourself It's time for you to do what's right for you You know something that is going to honor your soul and honor, honor your soul's path It's like you have a lot of compassion to give and somebody's not reciprocating the compassion They may be very spiteful the relationship could be tense tense between you and this person There's some tension and you just can't take it anymore. You know, there's a lack of security here 
you know, that maybe, and if it's not you that has a choice, maybe it's your partner that has a choice between three people and it's really wearing you down and you just can't do it anymore because it's time to treat yourself with gentle compassion, okay? It's time. I don't want to play games anymore. That's what I see. I don't want to play games anymore, all right? I don't. I, I, I don't. I just want it to be you and me. I don't want to play this game. I'm looking to get married. Somebody is looking to get married. They want to settle down and get married, but somebody is playing games in this picture. And I don't know who it is, but somebody is. Somebody's playing games, and you all of a sudden come to this wake-up call. Hey, I think I deserve more than this. I really do. I think I deserve more. I really don't need this drama in my life. I really don't. It's time for me to uh, bring peace of mind back. Okay, this isn't this isn't fulfilling my hopes and wishes. I gotta heal. I, it's time for me to heal. I, this has been rough. I don't feel like walking on eggshells anymore. I don't. This insecurity bullshit is just that. It's bullshit. I can't take it. I can't. It's over. I, I feel dead. Come on now. I loved you. What happened? This was love. What the hell happened? I want it back. I want this love again. I am looking for true love. Are you? And when I'm speaking of I, I'm speaking about you. Okay? It's like you're coming through me. I need, I need this renewal. I, it's time for me to start over. I just, I, I need to heal. It's time for me to heal. It's time for my wishes to be fulfilled. I really have to honor my own journey at this point. Okay? If you can't see what I'm worth, then, you know, I'm not sure if this is going to work out. You know, it, it appears that something is ending. I think that you're going through a transformation. Transformation, transformation, ending. Think something is ending that has been rough. You've given it a lot. You've given it your heart. You've given it your soul. And it isn't working out. Perhaps there's some cheating going on. I don't know. Something. Somebody isn't happy. And I see a completion. It's over. Because you're looking for true love. Perhaps you're going to reunite with somebody from your past. Maybe you're thinking about somebody from your past. Because there's so many players in your partner's life. Maybe your partner has all these players in their life. And they won't let them go. So you're like, you know what? I need something more. Maybe maybe this person that got away years ago, maybe they're the one because you're not giving me what I need. I don't know if that's the case, but it feels like you're dreaming about a past love, okay? And, you know, you're thinking about going. You're thinking about getting the hell out of there. You are. It's like, you know what? I think I'm just about there. I'm about ready to hit the road, Jack, because you're not fulfilling my wishes at this point. You're not. I need to start over. It's time for me to start fresh. It's time for me to be brand new again. I think I'm going to start a new journey here. I think I'm ready to start a new journey. To show the world the new me. No more juggling. No more juggling. I'm not playing this game anymore. Is it me or not? Because if it ain't me, then I have to go. very good advice right there the first card is assertiveness this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving you strength and guiding your words speak your truth I see an ending here, and I'm sorry. The Ten of Swords with a death card, there's an ending upon you. Something is about to end that needs to end because it's time for a renewal. It's time for a transformation, Cancer. Time for you to master your emotions and get the hell out. 
of whatever situation you're in that doesn't serve you because there's something here that is not making you happy and it's blocking you from happiness okay the second card is Archangel Michael a favorable outcome my prayer thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation which is perfect and fair for everyone involved thank you Archangel Michael for helping me trust and have faith trust and have faith in divine timing and you know when I started this reading as I was starting to lay out the cards I was going to mention divine timing for you you know for some reason it popped into my head and then this card comes out. It doesn't say divine timing, but it's, it's, I know that it is. It is. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith in the divine plan. And I don't know if I told you, but I, I might have said this part, that you have a divine connection at the very beginning of the video. Because I saw that too as well, that you have a divine connection, a strong one. Use that to your advantage. Do not ignore your inner guide. When the Hierophant card shows up in a reading, it is saying you must listen to your inner guide. It's trying to tell you something. Say 20 years ago, and I've told this story before, so you may have heard it. You were with somebody, and you never thought they'd cheat. This is just an example. Okay, this is an example. This could go many ways. You never thought they'd treat. You just knew it. You just knew inside. You didn't have to worry about it. Okay? Your inner guide told you everything was okay. Now you're with somebody completely different and your inner guide is saying there's something up. There's something up. Something's going on here. That's your inner guide saying there is something up. Something is going on here. So if you are getting messages that are making you wonder, <laughs> they're trying to tell you something. That's your inner guide. And your inner guide came up in this reading. The time is now to listen to your inner guide. So, Cancer, this is what I have for you. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will talk to you next time.